What's up, everybody? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. So today, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a uh, shut them motherfuckers up spell, okay? Or to keep your enemy's mouth closed. Now, it doesn't require much, but it does require one small thing to find or have sent to you or whatever the case, whatever it is that your ass does, okay? So, um, I already have a few things already prepared. So, let's smoke and talk right there. Today, um, I have a client that is wanting this girl to leave her, her um, and her boyfriend alone. She's wanting to shut her the fuck up, get her off of uh, the internet, get her off of her motherfucking line, okay? Now, um, now, I want you all to do this with the intent. If you all choose to do this on your own, this is on you. But I want you all to have the intentions of uh, keeping this person away from you. And also, uh, you know, you could drive a motherfucker crazy with this spell. Um, so, uh, and since it's in the wanting moon phase right now, this is the best time to do it to make this motherfucker go away. Uh, normally, it doesn't really take much in order for me to get people to disperse or going about their motherfucking business but in this particular case i am being paid to do it so i was going to film it on camera i've been getting a lot of clientele um dealing with people and having to shut them out and this is the perfect time in this wanting moon phase now uh already i have um these people's name in a jar and i've already consecrated um the jar so here's their names consecrated the jar y'all see me blow smoke in that motherfucker blase blase okay cleansing it cleaning it water vinegar bleach whatever um whatever natural agent can cleanse the energy away is what i used i put these people's name in the jar that she doesn't want me to um she doesn't want to fuck with her okay um, and I also have, which is the main ingredient, is a snake skin. Okay, so I'm going to drive these motherfuckers crazy and make sure that they leave her the fuck alone. So, um, and I also have a jar of paprika. And a jar of citrus. So, mm -hmm. let's see what he doing this motherfucker. <laughs> so basically, I'm just going to demonstrate what it is that you need to do. I have their names in the jar. I put them face down, okay? Um, you also need a candle. So you're going to open up the citrus acid and you're going to take a pinch of that, okay? Like so and drop it on their names just like that and this is why i wear the gloves okay and then you're going to put the snake skin inside of the jar okay i'm not gonna show y'all that shit on camera because you know how some other like you're going to put the snake skin in the jar on top of the citrus acid because you're going to want them to have all kinds of TV wires going motherfucking crazy up in that bitch, okay? Um, and once you put the snake skin in there, you're going to be thinking about your intentions as you are wanting these people to go away, 
okay? You're wanting them to, you know, when you think of snakes, this motherfucker slither, okay? Or the snakes can be the mind, the serpent can be the mind, making you think mentally as well, too. Snakes also look like spines, okay? So this is making sure a motherfucker knows how to get the fuck on, okay? Because you have a spine as well, too. So um, you're going to probably drive this motherfucker crazy, especially while we're in this wanting moon phase, you're probably going to drive them crazy and make them leave, okay? Because that's usually what happens with snakes is they make your motherfucking ass leave. Now, unless you love snakes like I do and reptilians and all of that shit, then, you know, this is not of the matter. But this is what I'm using today. Now, you're going to add the um, paprika on top of the citrus acid and on top of the snake. And as you sprinkle it on there, make sure that you get it inside of the jar. Okay, now, normally I would use um, a black candle, but for today, this is for um, someone to leave their boyfriend alone. Um, so whatever love interests, you know, I'm going to use whatever the fuck I can, because that's just what um, Blitch is doing this motherfucker, straight like that. So... Um, what you're going to do is you're going to seal the deal after you've put all of your ingredients inside of the jar. And then you're going to seal the deal with the candle. Just like so. Dropping the names. Doo -doo, just like that. Sometimes you can pour it slow, pour it fast. Just like that. Boom, okay? So you have your wax in your jar. Seal it up. Shut it down. Okay, you're gonna put this in a dark ass place, um, in a place where you're just gonna forget about it. You're also um, going to make sure that you check on your work. Think about your intentions as you're doing certain things. Um, Think about what it is that you're really putting into the universe, okay? So when you're spell casting or doing any type of spell work, you're going to think about each and every single little ingredient that goes into the little worlds or the universes that you're making for these people. Now, um, some of you guys might drive this, like I said, you might be driving people motherfucking crazy, all right? I... Honestly, don't give a fuck, to be real. Once you do that, because I don't want them, once you seal the deal, I don't want them to communicate online whatsoever. You're going to put either a uh, one magnet, okay, inside. You can either find two magnets or just one, okay, and you're going to take that and put that on the inside of the jar before you seal the deal okay so what you're going to need is paprika citrus acid snake skin which you can get at any botanica or any type of um witchery store or online or whatever the case may be uh you also want a jar and you also want a candle it could be black or red or gray doesn't really matter um but i for technology i would use a uh, gray type of candle I would also use um, purple as well because it fucks with your mind. So um, I would definitely use a candle, but I already have one here for them that is um, lit, okay? But I would use definitely, you can use a chime candle, tower candle, whatever the case may be, um, to shut them up after putting that magnet in there. They're eventually going to separate and disintegrate and going about their motherfucking lives now it is going to drive them a little crazy um because snakes make people move okay so this is going to get them to move as well um what else was i going to say uh for those of you guys that are already into the craft and whatnot if you are into the light um if you're into the left-hand path or the right-hand path, whatever path that you're into, you can use those candles for certain things like that. Um, you don't necessarily have to have snakes uh, skin or, you know, 
whatever. But for me, in my in my case, I collect things like that. So um, make sure that you have your magnet as well too, your candles, your paprika, because you want these motherfuckers to get the fuck on and get on about their motherfucking business. And you know, as it can make things either petrified or it's going to make things sizzle the fuck on, okay? So you want these results to um, typically... Once you forget about it, you're going to just forget about it. And eventually they're going to leave you the fuck alone. Or this, you're going to see that the results, they're, they speak for themselves. <laughs> Straight like that. Because you already know how snakes have hissing tongues. So, with that being said, um, when I think of um, letting somebody get the fuck on and move around and not be bothering your ass, I think of separating magnets as well, too. So think about those clever type of ideas, all right? All right, guys, I hope that this helped. If you need to get any magical purposes or anything of that nature, make sure that you check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, and also email me at laurelbanks at gmail.com. And I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And let me know about your witchery results as well, too. Peace.